okay so the problem we have here is we have this two dimensional grid and we have some coins distributed in the grid so these are the values of the coins so this coin is valued five dollars this coin is valued four dollars three dollars and so on so we have a robo in the uh, top left most grid like say in cell one comma one we want the robo to move around the grid and reach the uh, rightmost uh, bottom corner of the grid in this case um, say cell 5 comma 6 um, in such a way it will collect the coins uh, as it goes around but there is some restriction on how the robo can move the robo cannot just keep moving uh, arbitrarily uh, so the robo can move only in certain ways so it can either come down by one cell so it means it can come down from say a cell like this or it can uh, come from the left so it can move to the right by one cell okay so it can move to the right by one cell or it can come down by a cell so the movements that are not allowed it, uh, are movements like this so cross movements are not allowed so the robo cannot move something like this that's not allowed okay so robo cannot move like this or it cannot move uh, the other way okay so it, you cannot go you cannot go from here to here okay so the only movement that is allowed uh, the two movements that are allowed is going down by a cell going down by a cell so this is allowed going down by a cell or going to the right by a cell okay so which means how can a robo come to cell i comma j a robo can come to cell i comma j from either cell from either i minus 1 comma j or i comma j minus 1 so these are the two cells a robo can come from so that's what we have here in the formulation so what we'll do we'll pick the maximum of the two cells okay so let me show the uh, recursion so we pick the maximum of i minus 1 comma j and i comma j minus 1 so we'll come from which of the uh, either of the two cells that have the maximum value and so the value of the coins so f of i comma j is the value of the coins uh, the total value of the coins that the robo has collected until then so that will be the maximum of these two plus the value of the coin in the cell i comma j if the cell has a coin if not it is zero so as an initialization what we'll do is uh, f of 0 comma j is 0 which means if there's no row it is 0 for all columns 1 to m and similarly if there's no column f of i comma 0 is 0 so we'll do some examples um, so this cell does not have any coin and there's no cell to the top or there's no cell to the left so the value is going to be like maximum of if there's no cell to the top or left will take the value as zero that's the initialization part so the maximum of zero and zero is zero plus there's no coin here so that is zero now in this cell so we'll fill this row wise so in the cell one comma two the value to the left is zero there's no cell on the top so it's also zero so maximum of zero and zero is again zero plus there's no coin in the cell so that is zero so we'll keep going like this zero so here there is 0 to the left and there is no coin on the top so maximum again 0 and 0 is 0 plus there is a coin in this cell so that's going to be 5 so for this cell now it's maximum of 5 and 0 on the top so that is 5 plus there is no coin in this cell which is 5 so in this cell there is no coin to the left which is 0 there is a 0 on the top so maximum of 0 and 0 is 0 plus there is no coin in the cell so it is 0 then it is maximum of 0 and 0 is 0 plus the value of this coin here which is 4 so that is 4 then the maximum of 4 and 0 is 4 plus there is no coin here that is 4 then maximum of 4 and 0 is 4 plus there is a coin here of value 3 so that is 7 
the maximum of 5 and 7 is 7 plus there's no coin here so that is 7 maximum of 5 and 7 is again 7 no coin here so it's still 7 so here there is no coin to the left so that is 0 and 0 on the top so maximum of 0 and 0 is 0 plus there's no coin here so that is 0 then maximum of 0 so always the rule is take the maximum of so if you want to find the value of this cell take the maximum of the value at the left and the value on the top so maximum of 0 and 4 is 4 plus there's no coin here so it is 4 so for this cell it is maximum of 4 and 4 is 4 plus there's no coin in this cell so it is 4 now for this cell it is maximum of 4 and 7 left and the top 7 plus there's a coin of value 2 so 7 plus 2 is 9 so for this cell the maximum of 9 and 7 is 9 plus there's no coin in this cell so it is 9 then here maximum of 9 and 7 is 9 plus the value of a coin here which is 7 which is 16 so I keep going like this we'll do the, uh, this row so here there's a coin itself so there's nothing in the left so it is 0 and 0 on the top so maximum of 0 and 0 0 plus the coin value which is 9 so 9 maximum of 9 and 4 is 9 plus the value of the coin in the cell is 0 so that is 9 maximum of 9 and 12 is 12 plus there's no coin in the cell so it is 12 then this is again maximum of 12 and 12 is 12 no coin in the cell 12 then 12 and 12 maximum is 12 plus the coin of value 6 which is 18 then maximum of 18 and um, 18 is 18 plus there's no coin 18 so this 18 indicates the total value of the coins that the robo could collect by moving from the top to the bottom so now we want to find out what are those coins that the robo could collect so that the value adds up to 18 so to do that we'll trace the path back so we'll start this with this 18 so how we got this 18 by taking the maximum of the top and the left so here both are the same so we'll break the tie in this uh, problem by going from the left so we came to the cell from the left then here how we got to this 18 we took the maximum of 12 and 12 which is 12 so we'll break the tie by coming from the left again maximum of 12 and 12 is 12 so we'll break the tie by coming from the left so how we got to this 12 we'll take the maximum of 9 and 12 which is 12 so we come from the top then how we got to this 12 the maximum of 4 and 4 plus the value of the coin 8 right so we got to this uh, we'll break the tie by coming from the left then maximum of so we are here now uh, maximum of 0 and 4 is 4 so we come from the top again 0 and 4 max is 4 so we come from the top how we come here maximum of 0 and 0 is 0 so we break the tie by coming from the left so once you reach this column you have to or the leftmost column you have to always come from the top so this so if you uh, put together the green lines you can see you can show the uh, value of the coins that the robot could have collected so it's going to be 4 8 and 6 so 4 plus 8 is 12 and then plus this is going to be 18 okay so we'll do one more uh, grid so here we have again uh, the values of the coins distributed um, so you want the robot to start from the leftmost cell and reach the rightmost cell and um, um, we want to see how what is the value of the coins the robot could collect so again uh, for this cell there's nothing on the top and the left so it's 0 and 0 maximum 0 there's no coin in the cell so it's also 0 and for this cell it's a maximum of the 0 and nothing on the top so it's 0 plus value of the coin here so it is 7 and uh, again 7 and 0 maximum 7 no coins so 7 7 7 and so on so here if you want to fill up this cell it's going to be the maximum of 7 and nothing on the top so 0 which is maximum of 7 and 0 7 plus the coin value 4 which makes it 11 so here again there's no coin to the left so it is 0 plus a maximum of 0 and this 0 is going to be 0 plus the value of the no coin here so it is 0 then 0 and 7 maximum is 7 so it's 7 7 and 7 the maximum is 7 plus the value of this coin here 5 so it's going to be 12 then 7 and 12 the maximum is 12 plus the value of this coin 3 which makes it 15 then 15 and 7 the maximum is 15 plus no coin here so that makes this still 15 15 and 11 the maximum is 15 plus there's no coin here so that makes it 15 okay so we'll keep going like this here 
there's 13 on the top and nothing to the left so that is 0 so maximum of 0 and 13 is 13 maximum of 13 and 15 and plus there's no coin of course that's so that's 13 then maximum of 13 and 15 is 15 plus the value of this coin here 3 which is going to be 18 then maximum of 18 and 21 is 21 and there's no coin here so that's 21 maximum of 21 and 26 is 26 plus there's no coin here so that's 26 maximum of 26 and 26 is 26 plus there's a coin here which is 7 so 33 maximum of 33 and 26 is 33 plus there's no coin here which is 33 so 33 is the total value of the coins that the robo could collect okay so what coins are those such that the value adds up to 33 so we'll do that so we'll just trace back so this 33 was obtained by taking the maximum of 33 and 26 so we'll come from the left then maximum of 26 and 26 is 26 so we just break the tie by coming from the left maximum of 21 and 26 is 26 so we have to come from the top then we are here so maximum of 21 and 21 is 21 so break the tie by coming from the left Maximum of 15 and 21 is 21, so break the, uh, it just come from the top. Then maximum of 15 and 15 is 15, so break the tie, come from the left. Then max of 4 and 15 is 15, so come from the top. Then max of 0 and 7 is 7, come from the top. Max of 0 and 7 is 7, come from the top. So once you reach the topmost row, you have to come from the left. So the path traced 7 plus uh, this, 5, 7, so that's, um, so 8 is there also, 15, 21, 26, and so this is a 6. So that is going to be 33 together, okay? So now one thing is like we did for the LCS problem, we could, I could say then what if this grid is reduced to something like um, uh, say uh, five columns and four rows. So something like this, only uh, there are five columns and four rows. So the total value of the coins that the robot could collect will be then 22. So then we can trace the path, uh, how could we get that 22, okay? Similarly, uh, how, so we got the 22 by taking the maximum of 20 and 15. So we have to come from the left. And then uh, 15 and 21, so again come from the left. And then 15 and 15, so come from the left. And then it will be this path. So it will be basically seven plus eight plus uh, this plus one so seven seven plus fifteen twenty two okay so that will be a path like this come this way and then going and then go above okay so we'll stop here